I get asked quite a bit about how to onboard a Mac to Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Well, I'm going to take you through it right now. There is really two methods to doing this. The first method is if you use a MDM solution or Microsoft Endpoint Manager or a manual method where you have an installer and an onboarding package. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I am going to show you how to do it using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. I enjoy doing it this way because it's really easy. It takes a matter of minutes. Uh, basically, you download an XML file for Microsoft Defender ATP. You run some PowerShell scripts to create the configuration profiles uh, in Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and then you configure the antivirus settings and get those assigned. And I'll post a link to the PowerShell scripts in the video description. This XML is required because it tells the client how to contact the Defender ATP service. You get the XML from the Defender ATP portal, and uh, when you run the PowerShell script, it's going to ask you for the path of where that XML is saved on your disk, so you can upload it to Intune. The PowerShell scripts are really easy. Basically, it creates four configuration profiles in Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and it also adds the app. Now, you also have a separate PowerShell script that you could also automatically assign these to a group as well, but I'm not going to use that in this video. And if you want to read more about this, again, I'll post a link in the description in the video so you can go out to the blog and read more about how this works. All right, let's jump into a demo now, and let's take a look at exactly how to do this. Okay, so within Microsoft Defender ATP, I need to go to Settings and then uh, Onboarding. And under Onboarding, choose your OS. I'm gonna choose Mac OS, and I'm gonna choose Mobile Device Management versus the local script. And I'm going to download the onboarding package. And when I download that, I'm going to have an XML file that's going to look something like this. And that XML file tells the device how to contact the MD ATP service. Next, I'm going to run the PowerShell scripts. Now, there's two different scripts. There's a add and an add and assign. Uh, I ran the add, which basically creates the app. It creates all the notification, all of, sets all the notification settings, sets the different policies, and uh, those are basically configuration profiles. Add and assign will do the same thing, but then it also assigns it to a group or a user. Uh, so I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to manually assign it. So I've already ran this, as you can see. And if we go into Endpoint Manager and go to Devices, Mac OS, and Configuration Profiles, there's those profiles it just created. And I manually assign these. Um, just for kicks here in my testing, I assign these to all users and all devices. Don't worry if it's a Windows device. Intune is smart enough to avoid that device. Um, and then for apps, if we go to Mac OS, um, you can see I've done this a few times already. Uh, here we created the, the Defender ATP app and we assigned it. So it's gonna pull it directly from uh, the Microsoft Cloud and push it out to that device. So I also went into Endpoint Security and under Antivirus, I created a Mac OS antivirus profile where I am setting these settings here, right? And then I've assigned that to all devices and all users. So now let's take a look at what this looks like on the Mac side. Okay, so on my Mac, I've installed the company portal app and I've signed in. And we're now going to MDM enroll this Mac into Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now I sped up the video for sake of time. Uh, during the enrollment process, I do need to open up system preferences and I need to approve this MDM profile to be used. And then it gets enrolled. Now, once the device is enrolled, watch the upper right-hand corner, check it out. There's a Defender ATP app. It got pushed down from Endpoint Manager, and there it is. It's all up to date. And then there's my settings that I've configured via the configuration profile. Folks, it's that easy. Okay, so now let's flip back over to Endpoint Manager, and let's go to Devices, Mac OS Devices. Uh, there's my device. We can see it's now enrolled. And if I go to device configuration, there's the configuration profiles that got pushed down. Now, if we go over to Defender ATP and we go to our machines, or devices rather, here I can see my MacBook. And uh, it's still pulling some telemetry down, but it is onboarded to Defender ATP and it's ready to rock and roll. 
Okay, so let's wrap this up. It's, it really is pretty easy. I, I'll post in the video description a link to the PowerShell scripts and some more information, but you load it into Endpoint Manager, and when you go to MDM and roll that Mac, it'll automatically get pushed out. Um, now, if you're not using MDM, you can manually do it, and I'll post instructions on how to do that as well. It's a little bit more of a science project, but it does work. All right, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, at SosmanMatt, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.